Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jason with Unpacked Games, and today we're going to be taking a look at Bullet Deluxe Edition Shoot 'em Up Puzzle Action. Uh, this game is by Level 99 Games. It's one to four players, it takes about 15 minutes, and you might know uh, Level 99 from some of their other games like the Battlecon series. Uh, this is the Deluxe Edition from Kickstarter, so I'm going to go ahead and open her up. The box has got a decent weight to it, it's kind of a little heavy. Let's see what's inside. Looks like we're greeted with a thank you envelope, which I'm assuming is probably from the Kickstarter campaign. Um, it's a nice little letter. Pretty cool. Got the rule book. Decent size. Some pretty cool artwork. Try and get the glare. list of all the components. So the deluxe edition should have, I believe, uh, all of these tokens should be wood. We'll see how that goes. So yeah, pretty standard rule book. Doesn't look like anything too crazy. And then the last half is uh, the character information. Uh, it looks like a quick setup sheet, single piece of paper, very good. Here's a little bit of advertisement for some of the other games they have. Here is the punch out sheet, so it looks like these are the uh, standard cardboard punch out tokens. And then separately we have the bags of the wooden tokens. So they are very thick and it looks like very nice quality. This is a couple stuck together. Looks like we've got a bag of tokens for each player. So we've got the red, yellow, blue, green, and then I'm going to call it pink. And separately, we've got a bag of these other tokens, which I'm not quite sure what they are, but these are also wooden, all black. And then we have, okay, so then here, I'm assuming these are, let's take a look, all of the tokens that are effectively bagged. Yep. So, most of these are going to be redundant because of the deluxe edition. Of course, these are uh, the other things that you're going to need. And then it looks like the intensity track. And we've got two decks of cards. Go ahead and open them in a second. And then we looks like I think these are going to be the individual player mats. Of 
quite a bit here, so let's see. So there's four different sheets here. They look uh, pretty much the same on both sides. So it's going to be one for each player. Get a close up of these. They're pretty nice quality. A little bit thin. Not too bad though. And then we've got the player cards. These feel like the same quality. And there's quite a few here. So let's take a look at these. Some really interesting art style on these cards. That was cool. So it looks like those were the player character cards. And these look like they are an associated with each character, uh, presumably some kind of like um, character ability, special ability, something like that. They look relatively similar, but they are still unique. This is all on the incoming side. I'll open these in a second. It looks like a poster is included. Wound up pretty tight. tight pretty cool poster and safe in there. I'm assuming this is empty. Yep. So let's take a look at these cards. So it looks like these are going to be, these are probably the pattern reference cards for each player. Pretty much explains the various phases. Get a close up of that so you can see. There's action phase, end phase, cleanup phase, and boss round. And then on the other side, pattern reference. I'm going to do four of those, one for each player. And then it looks like we've got quite a few. And these look like they're labeled for each player character so I'm wondering I'm assuming this is gonna be I, I have no idea how to play this game I haven't even like you saw I just opened it so I, I haven't looked at the directions or anything I'm not sure if these cards get distributed per player and that's kind of your hand obviously that answers it because the character art is on the back so looks like there's about 10 or so cards per character And then let's see, this looks like it's going to be more. So 
again. More character cards. Take a look at that. See what's going on there. Looks like these are boss patterns. More boss patterns. Probably character specific as well. Looks like these are these are actually really nice. They're like a canvas uh, bag. This is just a plain white one. And then we've got four, I'm going to guess. Yep, four smaller black canvas bags. These are really nice. Unlabeled, so you can pretty much use these for anything if you want. It's got a little bit of a imperfection on it, nothing crazy. And that's pretty much it. That is everything that's in the bag. This is definitely, this box is a prime candidate for a little bit of organization because other than keeping all of these tokens in their bags, which is fine, you're going to have these cards flopping around everywhere in here. You're going to have these with no real good place to go. So nothing seems like it's going to fit in here, you know, right out of the box. So it's going to take a little bit of tweaking. Um, obviously, most of these are going to be redundant, so I can put them elsewhere. I'm going to have to bag up these little guys. These are all redundant because we've got the wooden ones. And yep, that's about it. And here we have the box completely packed up with everything after I removed the original cardboard insert because it was pretty much wasting a lot of space. I bagged up all of the uh, individual character cards and their respective decks including their boss patterns. So there's eight, eight little bags here with each deck. They kind of fit in nicely. I left the, um, the poster in there. It doesn't really need to be there. Punched out all these little cardboard tokens. Bagged them up as well. The original bags for the uh, wooden tokens. I didn't include the original cardboard tokens in this box because it's just gonna take up a lot of space and unnecessary. And then all the other things kind of sit there on the bottom. So with all that stuff packed in here, including these canvas bags, everything fits nicely. It doesn't matter which way you want to put the book in there. I guess you could put the book on the bottom or do this and then that. The lid should go on. There you go. Everything's good. Here's a separate shot of a complete overview of all the components spread out. And again, this is Bullet by Level 99 Games.